Hey, welcome guys. It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me for your daily tarot card reading for Sunday, October 9th. I'm using the steampunk tarot. <clears throat> anyway, so this is a reading for the collective and I'm just going to shuffle the deck and give you a little tarot tip if you happen to be a person that has some tarot decks. So I've had this deck for quite some time and I wasn't able to use it for about the first year I had it. There was just zero connection. So I don't want you guys to give up on your decks if you've got a deck and you're like, eh, you know, um, <clears throat> just wrap it up. You could use a silk scarf or, you know, a velvet bag or however you protect your cards that you're not using for a while. You know, put a couple crystals on top of it and let it sit. Let it sit in your energy, you know, and try it every now and again because you might, it's like getting a new deck, you know, it's been sitting there for a while. But anyway, yada, yada, yada. Let's start pulling some cards here for you guys. Got a really good start. We do have the Ace of Cups. It's golden. It's beautiful. It is like emotion. <sighs> okay, so my guide started to say an emotional overload, but then they corrected themselves and said a sensory overload. Okay, so... There could be some sort of overwhelming emotional experience that happens today. And it could be so much, you might even have to lie down where you are, you know. There's a lot of flowing water here. I'm going to pull another card. Hold on. Here's the Eight of Pentacles. So we saw the Seven of Pentacles here yesterday in the black cat tarot. So what I'm seeing, <clears throat> you're probably gonna receive some sort of a spiritual download, okay? And this is what it can feel like. It's just coming at you from all sides. So a spiritual download is receiving information from your guides, from the universe, from your higher self. And it can come in without an announcement hopefully it happens when you are at home resting you know and you can just shut everything else off and pay attention to it because timing is not really up to you okay um most of the time so this is going to come in and it's just going to be it's really heavy information it's a steady stream it kind of feels like a beam of light and then it cascades out all the way around you so it's going to be that sensory overload um you can you can let me know if you've ever experienced one before okay so if this is really a new path being revealed to you you were given an opportunity for regrowth yesterday so you might have just started and not being a hundred percent sure what to do next but that's okay because your guides can see one step ahead of you this is why it's always important to talk to your ancestors and we saw one on friday um, because your ancestors know your past as well as your future, okay? So if you're not in a practice of speaking to your ancestors or thanking them or whatever, remembering, it's a good time to start that, okay? So anyway, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, and it's like, you know how they say, um, even if you can't see the whole staircase, you should just take the next step? It's like the whole staircase is going to be revealed to you today, like things that you just didn't know how to process or what to do next. It's all going to come in like, boom, you have the answers that you were seeking. Okay. The whole path is revealed. The whole staircase is revealed. We do have the star card here. Um, and there's just such an elevation and elegance to this card. Um, it's like you'll be able to take bigger leaps in life because you've had such a growth spurt, okay? And instead of looking at the stars, you're going to feel part of the stars. And this is such a beautiful integration into the universe where you finally feel, and this is going to be super important, especially for those of you that feel like you're on a solo path, you don't feel understood. There is this integration into the molecular structure. I don't know, did I have an astrophysicist show up as a guide today? That you're gonna feel this like ultimate beautiful connection and be part of 
everything that you thought was so distant and far away. And this can happen in a heartbeat when this Ace of Cups download happens for you. So you can trigger this with a, a meditation. Say you're ready for a download. Call in that ancestor that we saw in your reading on Friday. Um, take that little spurt or a little burst of an idea that you received on Saturday and really, really crank it up because you are stardust, baby. You are golden. And I'm going to see you next time. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.